okay? Late 1700s, they're starving. They had been at war with England and other countries for a long time. They're trying to expand into the United States. They're sending all over this money, this money all over there. They're sending all these people over there. They're going broke. The top 3%, 3% didn't have to pay taxes. The rich nobility, they lived in castles. Oh, yeah, yeah, they didn't have to pay any taxes. The 97% that were poor had to pay taxes. They had to work. The 3% didn't work, got castles and food, whatever they want, and didn't pay taxes. And the 97% worked, didn't have any food, and paid taxes. Be a Republican, well, now be a Democrat. Huh. Right? Listen, so. Government program. No, let's not get into t politics now. But my, my, this is what happened. So that 97%, that 97% finally started to come together and said, wait a second, I'm working all day. I'm paying tax on these guys. The, the, let me give you an example. The monarchy, the kings and queens, they, became, they, they made became, a castle. Go ahead. They became really, really upset and they started fighting a war. Exactly. Wait, they started what's called the French them. Revolution. Now, this is what happened. Go ahead. Uh, didn't like, uh, one person, uh, like, like small guy, but tall? Napoleon? Napoleon. That, he yeah. was after. There was a guy named Maximilien oh, Robespierre. Oh. Everyone say that. Maximilien Robespierre. Robespierre. Okay, he started the revolution. He was a common guy and he started the revolution. Okay, now, they, this, is, this is common people, they didn't, Zach, Jack, they didn't have guns and stuff. They were farmers. They started fighting a war with like pitchforks against guns, but they had 97%, that's a lot of people. And then what they did is they stormed a, 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 they stormed a storage unit that had a lot of guns. And they stormed in and they, they killed, strong. they killed a uh, lot like a, of people. Just like a, a part of the castle that had like all the guns. They stormed it, got all the guns. Now all of a sudden, the 97% had guns. Oh. And then they won. And listen, this is how, this is how crazy it was, though. The, the nobility, the kings and queens in France, they created, they took, the, the, the capital used to be in Paris. They took their capital and they went out to a place called Versailles, about 20 miles outside of Paris. And they built the most extravagant castle ever. Which still stands today, called you Versailles. Have been there. You might have been there, okay? And they did that so that they could separate themselves. They said, from their people, because they didn't feel like their people deserved to be around them. That's, so the that's cool. so the exact if you're going to lead someone, you should go and see them all the time to see how your people are, to feel what they feel, so you can know what to give them or to take from them. But if you're living in some distant castle, how are you going to know what your people are thinking or needing? So they went 20 miles away. They lived, they would never leave their castle. They had no idea that this revolution was even started. The people, representatives from the Republic that started the French Revolution would go to this castle and sit there for hours waiting to see them and tell them, King, King Louis, they're going to kill you. They're going to come for you. If you don't start giving back, if you don't start paying taxes, the people just want you to pay taxes like them. They want you to help them. And King Louis was like, no. All the nobility said, no. They were advised him, no, no. Why would we do that? We're kings. We're gods. Do, do, do. There's only one bad idea. Yeah. And then what happened? What happened? The French Revolution. Enlightenment, they called it. Liberty. They broke the door. They broke in. And they went to the castle in Versailles. And they took the king and the queen. And they put them in jail things. And they brought them in. And they took all of that 3%. And you know what they started doing? They created the guillotine. You know what the guillotine oh, is? Oh my god, I don't bring it up. Come down, person. Please don't bring it up. <laughs> don't bring it up. Game oh, over. They cut their head over. Yes. Now, head, listen, head they started doing that, but then what happened is after they did all that, now they had to have a government. Well, they, they did get rid of that. But then now they have a government, and they're like, all right, who's going to lead us? Don't Here's where it got complicated because now all of a sudden Max Ro Maximilian Robespierre is in charge with these other guys, but then the people are like, oh, well, you just want to be a king, too. And all of a sudden, everyone started looking around and saying, oh, maybe he's a traitor, he's a traitor. And people started getting their head chopped off just because someone would say, oh, I think he's for the monarchy. And soon there's only one person left. Maximilian Robespierre, the guy who started the whole thing, was actually the last person to get his head chopped off. He actually got his head chopped off. They accused him of all this stuff. So then they finally said, enough. We're not doing, we're not chopping any of any more heads. We're getting out of control here. Yeah, no, no decapitation. No more. We and then at, during that time, Gosh. Napoleon was fighting in Europe for the, for the French um, government. Wait, why didn't, why didn't he like, stop in the chair for a while? 
And then they, stuck in an they chose they him as king. They came back. They chose he, him he like the because he was he was king. from the people. He, he didn't come from nobility. Napoleon was a short guy that came from the islands, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. And, go ahead. He was not short. He was five he, foot two in, in like, French inches, which are longer than he was tall. Tall. He was tall for his time. He was actually five foot seven. Yeah, he was tall for his time. For his he was five foot seven, but he was above average for his time. People were shorter back then. He, he was but what happens is all of a sudden Napoleon inches. comes in because Napoleon was one of the, the 97%. He was like a regular person. Oh. And, and so he led them. Oh, and now all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden, guess who put a crown on his own head? So normally, throughout the whole tradition of thousands of years, the king, put, the king puts his head here, and like a priest puts the crown on his head. Napoleon took the crown himself. And this is very historic. This is a big thing. He took the crown himself and put it on his own head. That's how powerful it became. Napoleon now just had to cut the whole country to himself. And then he said, let's go conquer Europe and get rid of all monarchies. So France, France tried to revolutionize all of Europe. So then all of the European monarchies, the kings and queens and all the other countries said, we need to band together because if this guy wins, guess who's dying? Uh, all the kings and queens. And then soon only the people will be left. So then France actually did really well and took over Wait. a lot. They took over Prussia, they took over a lot of different well, countries. Go ahead. Isn't like the only fight between the king or queen or Germany? I thought I mean, Prussia all took over Prussia. Prussia. There should be a quiz so, who, who, um, who they Prussia. lost to. Well, then, I don't, I don't so then what happened is he made it all the way across Europe to Russia, Quinn. All the way across Thank Europe you. to Russia and then got stuck in the cold then. Mm. And the Russians pushed him back all the way to France and then caught him and banished him to an island where oh. he lived out his days. Wait, what, what Actually, to be technically there? right, he got banished to an island, got on a little canoe boat with a guy, sailed back in quietly, rallied the French again, Became the king again emperor. for like the emperor for like a week, fought a battle, a week. lost it, and then got put on an island farther away. And they supposedly they had like ten ships that would sail around it. Like, and the reason like, like, normally they would just kill a guy who was doing this, a rebellious, rebellious guy. But the people, they wanted him. The to people be loved him. No, no, the people, the common person in Europe loved him because of what he represented. So they didn't kill him. They just said we're going to put him on an island. And you know, get rid of him, but not really kill him because people love him. And then he lived out his days with ships going around, making sure he didn't go off. And you can actually go to that island now, which I plan on going to at some point. You can see where he lived out his days. Wait, can you bring us on a field trip? Should we go on a field trip to the island? Oh, yes. Yeah. Dude, that would be the coolest wait, field trip wait, of mankind. What, wait, what am I, I just don't even know where the island is. It's a tiny. Oh. It's like an exile island. Do you know what it's but called? But you can go there. Wait, but like, it's wait, like wait, small. Wait, it's like the size of Weston. Uh, and we can play chess there, dude. Or you can play it on his bones. Not <laughs> much there. Oh. 